What's up, Daniel? Thank you, Rob. Thank you, Kevin, for being an ambassador hey, to us. Hey, Carol, how's it going? Thanks for having us. No problem. Thanks for being here. So um, with regard, you said you could have um, as much ice cream as you want. So that's a question that I had regarding specific foods, like let's say um, black pepper on our food or certain certain spices like cinnamon or maybe uh, eventually like like for certain foods, how do we know how much of that food we can have before it may trigger biomarkers to be out of whack? I think that's going to be something that you'll have to play with and feel into a little bit. I think that goes into, you know, using the system that you're using with your biofeedback and your body's signals um, to test the limits of different things. And that, that goes into like, probably the, the more advanced and deeper levels of the customization process. And it's something that I still do uh, with like the dietary experiments that I do. That's one of the main things that I'm trying to figure out. Like, okay, I know I can eat egg yolks, but what happens if I eat 30 of them every day for a whole month? Okay, that's a, an experiment you can always do for a couple of days or a week, not with egg yolks, but with whatever food you're trying to test and see where the limits are. Generally, though, what I've seen is if your food is one of the main staple foods that's coming from one of these starting lists, they can really be leveraged unlimited um, and because that's really what they're meant for. So in other words, I can eat unlimited ice cream because the nutrients in ice cream, the way I make it, come from raw cream, which is a staple food for me. I use a teeny bit of maple syrup or stevia, which is, again, part of my customized diet, both are approved sweeteners. And then number three, a teeny tiny bit of fruit to give it some texture and flavor. Again, another approved skin health, customized food. So the reason I can eat ice cream every single night and never get eczema or psoriasis or dermatitis is because those are all my staple foods. And once you establish your staple foods, even if the nutrients create ice cream, you can have that staple food as much as you want and it will only stay healing and nourishing throughout the time that you eat it. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching today's video. This was a little excerpt from the live Q and A's from our private Eat, Cleanse, Move group, which you can access at healpsoriasisandeczema.com. All of the links for all of my skin health offerings are in the description box. Again, thanks so much for watching the video. I hope this is helping you guys with your skin health issues. Leave your comments and questions down below. Remember to subscribe and share. And I'll see you guys in a future video really soon. Have a wonderful day.